Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. My name is Natina, and today I'll be talking about how to use Amazon Transcribe. So um, if you don't have an AWS account, go ahead and go to aws.amazon.com and sign up for a free account today. All right, so if you don't have your AWS Management Console up, go ahead and pull that up and log in. And so today, uh, with Amazon Transcribe, Amazon Transcribe, it allows you to translate audio files into text files. Even um, you're able to even do live streaming and um, tra uh, translate that into um, text as well. Um, so if you need closed captioning for your videos, um, Amazon Transcribe can definitely translate your audio files into text. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, here at the AWS Management Console, uh, what we need to do first before we can actually have our files uh, translated into text from audio is we have to create an S3 bucket, which is a storage bucket. So if you don't know much about um, S3, definitely uh, take that um, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioners um, exam or just do some study on it just so you can get a general idea of what the S3 bucket is used for. So we're going to go ahead and go into our S3 bucket. You can type that here and to find services or in your um, history, you can type in S3. I mean, you can click on S3, excuse me. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to uh, create a bucket for our audio file. And if you don't have an audio file, I will upload um, the Amazon transcribe uh, tutorial documentation and you can get that from there alright so um, now we're gonna create an S3 bucket and with S3 buckets um, they have to have unique bucket names okay so I'm gonna create my bucket name I'm gonna name it test scribe one and um, you cannot have any special characters here. You can use these dashes. Um, and then you want to choose the region that you're closest to. I'm in U.S. East, Northern Virginia region. So I'm going to choose that region. And then I'm going to click on Next. Here we're just going to leave everything as is. Don't need to change anything. Everything on the next page, leave as is. Don't change it. Click Next. And then we're going to click on Create Bucket. Okay. It's exciting, right? All right, so now we can see that our bucket has been created. So now what we want to do is add our audio file into the S3 bucket so we can give um, access to um, the Amazon Transcribe to be able to talk to the S3 bucket. So we're going to go ahead and check the box there. And here you will see a little box um, with the properties here. Um, but we're just going to click on it. And then once you click on the bucket, you can start to upload objects within the bucket. So we're going to um, click on Upload, Add Files, and then I'm going to go and search for my audio file, which is here. All right, and then click on Upload. Okay, now since the file has been uploaded, now you want to click on the checkbox. And you'll see um, within the overview that uh, this box has created an object link. So um, you can click on that and go to Copy Path. Now you can go here and you can do a copy and paste where you would have to paste this link um, on the next step that we're going to go on. But I would suggest that you just click on the Copy Path and I would let you guys know why I said this once we get there excuse me so we're going to click on the copy path and now let me go back to my Amazon S3 bucket so now what you want to do um, is you want to go to services and you want to go to your Amazon transcribe so in the search box you'll type in Amazon transcribe if you don't have it in your history Okay, so now um, here for Amazon Transcribe, you want to click on the Transcription Jobs. And then you're going to click on Create Job. Now what you want to do is create the name of your transcription job. And I'm going to just name it Test 
scribe job. I'll just do this. Test scribe dash job. Okay, your language. I'm gonna leave mine as English United States. You can there's a job queue as well. Um, if you had different um, you know, different jobs that you needed to be queued up and you can give them permissions on how you know the resources will be accessed. Um, you can go into more info to learn that. Now for the input data where we did the copy and paste um, for the bucket information, this is where you're going to paste that information. So you can go ahead and control, um, paste it. Oops. All right. Now what I was saying on the other, about the, the step previous to this one, when you're copying and pasting um, your S3 bucket audio file link, um, sometimes what I've noticed that it could generate like these long numbers within the link. And if that happens, you want to delete that information out. Um, and then once you do the copy and paste, I suggest that you do the copy path button instead of manually doing the copy and paste and then pasting it in here. For some reason, um, when I was copying and pasting it in manually, this wouldn't work. But for some reason, when I did the copy path, it took everything it needed for the input file location in the S3 bucket, and it worked great. All right, that's just a quick little note um, on that. So now we're going to go down to the output data. We're going to leave everything as default here, and we're going to click on Next. Um, now here for the audio settings, you can go in here and you can make changes to this stuff, um, but we're not going to do that here in this lesson. Um, you can do content removal, excuse me, content removal, and then you can customize um, this as well. But we're going to go ahead and click on create. Okay, so now what's happening is our job is in progress. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this um, and then I'll be right back with you once it has completed. Okay, so we're back. Um, now we have completed the job. So now what you want to do is click on transcribe job. Okay. Now here's the um, job details. You can click on the um, output location. You have when it was created. You have your expiration date of how long you have access to the um, transcription. And if you have used any of the um, additional um, options for your audio transcription. And then when you go down to the bottom, you can actually see where the text has been transcribed from the audio file. So now we could use this information. Um, also, it has the JSON file too as well. So if you needed to use the JSON file for something, you definitely could use this information here. Okay, for your, um, they have the example API response and then they have the example API call. So if you have an API that, you know, you may need this for, here you go. I mean, AWS, I really enjoy using AWS. Um, Every time, you know, because I am currently studying for the Solutions Architect Associates exam. So it's like every time, you know, I'm in there learning, I'm always finding something new that interests me. So and I want to share it with you guys. So uh, this is a pretty awesome service. If it's a reason for using it, definitely check out the AWS service. So now what I'm going to do just to, before we end, um, so we won't incur any unnecessary charges, is we're going to go ahead and delete the um, S3 bucket as well as we can delete this as well. Or you can keep it. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to go back to the home screen here, and I'm going to go to the S3 bucket. And I'm going to click on the bucket that I created with the, the test scribe one bucket. And I'm going to click on delete. And when you delete anything, your buckets from here, you have to co uh, confirm by actually typing or copying and pasting the bucket name. So confirm. The bucket is gone. And that's it, guys. Thank you guys for joining me today. You guys are awesome. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Let me know how I'm doing. If there's anything that you're interested in that you would like to see um, me do step by step, please let me know. Subscribe, like, share, guys. Thank you and have a blessed day. Peace.